Today we show how to make something like an NPC, so that he talks with you and that he plays an animation. So for that, just add any skeletal mesh you like into your level. Just place it in here and move it around as you like. So you place it right here. Then go to the animation sets. And here you have to choose an anim set. So of course you can create your own animation for that, but now I will use the K anim base main. But as I said, just create your own anim set and then you have your own animation. But I will choose the K anim human base main. Now go to the anim tab and in here you can find the human male idle animation. So that's our first animation, the idle animation. So it will look like this here. And then we have to we have to create or import or choose a talking animation. So as I don't have a talking animation now, I will just choose the hula hoop animation this year. Of course you can do a talking animation, but I will choose the hula hoop now. Okay, now close this. And with the character selector, go to Kismet, right click, new matinee, double click onto the matinee, another right click, add new skeletal mesh group, and OK. Now in here, you have to click onto the new skeletal mesh group, and down here you can see group anim set. Now click onto the plus, and add your anim set, so this anim set with your animations, to this here. So here, none, you have to click onto this little green arrow, and then you have your anim set added. Now go to the anim tab, press enter one time, and choose your animation. So we choose the male idle, and OK. Then scale the timeline up to the end of the animation, so like this here. Then click onto this red little icon here, right click and set loop. And now we've made our first animation as you can see on the left screen here. Okay, and close it. Now we have to create a second animation. So another right click, new matinee. Double click onto it, another right click, new skeletal mesh group, okay. And now another time, at new skeletal mesh group, we have to add your anim set. Then under the anim tab, you have to press enter. Choose your animation, in my case the hula hoop animation, in your case the talking animation, and OK. Expand the timeline to the end of the animation. And click on the black icon, right click, set loop. And now we've made our two animations. So that's it. Now we have to add a level loaded event, so new event, level loaded. And you have to connect the level loaded event with the idle animation, so with this method you play. And now the completed from the metony with play, and in the metony properties you have to choose looping. Okay, now our first animation is done. Now we have to add a trigger to your character. So right click, add actor, add trigger. Place it to your character, and with the trigger selected, go into Kismet, right click, new event using trigger 2. Either you can use a touch animation, a destroy, a hit, or any animation you like. I will choose the touch animation, but you can also choose the used animation, but I will choose the touch now. So touch animation, and then connect the trigger with the play from the matinee. Oh, no, no, sorry, not the play from the matinee. Of course, a right click you have to do, new action, sound, and then play sound. Okay, now connect the touch with the play sound node, and of course with the play from the matinee. And the finish from the play sound of you have to connect with the stop from the matinee. And of course the finished animation should be connected with the play. Okay, so the trigger you have to connect with the play sound, with the matinee, and the, from the play sound from the finished node you have to connect with the matinee from the first animation, so from the idle animation, and with the stop from our talking animation. Okay, now in the matinee, click looping. Okay, now click onto the play sound, and here you have to add your talking sound or the text that you should say. So I will search one here, so I click onto sound cues, and then I will type in, let's say, jazz in. No, it's not jazz, jazz. Here. Let's say I will choose jazz intro cue. And now just add it on the play sound. And that's it. Now let's try it out. Play from here. So as you can see, now he makes the idle animation. Now when we go into the trigger, he starts talking and he does the animation. And as you can see, 
it stops the animation after he has talked. So after the sound disappeared. So this is perfect. Now you can go into Kismet another time. Another trigger you can just add at max trigger count zero. So you can do that infinite times. So try it out, play from here. Now here's the idle animation, go in and hit us this animation. Yeah. Thank you for watching, this is how you make an NPC and we will see us again later.